The marching band. Many of us think of halftime of a football game or maybe a local parade. But what exactly is the history of the marching band? Where does this musical performance stem from? And to find that answer, we'll look no further than the military to see where marching bands are historically known to have evolved. Drum and bugle corps were essential in signaling the movement of troops. But as they became less needed on the battlefield, ceremonial roles of marching evolved. We've more than likely seen or been in a parade band. Maybe we've watched a show band at a football game. But did you know that there are also carnival bands that perform and scramble bands that often have comedic elements in their performance? And on a local level, we should of course look a little bit into the history of what makes the Harvest of Harmony Parade and exactly what makes this such a special event. It's a long-standing tradition. A lot of people who marched in it as teenagers now have kill up kids and grandchildren of their own who are also marching in it. So it's become a gen generational tradition with a long-standing history. These are some old shots of the Harvest of Harmony Parade, the parade that's going on at 69th year strong. And even though we're long past the days of the Bugle Corps, it's interesting to watch the evolution of the marching band, especially around here. Music is a long-standing tradition here in Hall County and in Grand Island. So as we can see, music is the core and the military is the root of the marching band. As we know it today, full of its big changes, such as the addition of the dance team, baton twirlers, and of course the color guard. But even after its additions, the marching band continues to entertain us year after year, decade after decade, and on into the future. For this week's history, Keith Enochson, NTV.